Hitman 3 is sort of like our end game. This is where everything comes together. This is where the things you didn't realize meant something in Hitman 1 or 2 come to the forefront. Having those holy <laughs> moments when we flip something on you and make something uh, happen that you were not expecting and then just keep on, keep moving to the next thing until, until you have that moment of, that's it. We wanted to bring back what was the essence of Hitman. And I think Hitman 3 to me is the dramatic conclusion of that. It is the end of a journey. It was always going to end like this. All your hard work, all your sacrifice, only sped up the process. So Hitman 3 is about closure on the storyline. It's a trilogy, and it's also as hokey as it sounds, it's a love letter to our core fans. We are taking uh, the, uh, the beautiful locations, the, uh, the level assigned, these uh, awesome environments that we have, and inviting them to uh, explore, to be creative, uh, and uh, do things that they haven't done before in a Hitman game. Um, and we're twisting the formula along the way. We're all trying completely different things uh, for what a format of a Hitman level can be. You know, that's super exciting, I think. I think players will be really uh, excited about that. We're definitely pushing the systems to <laughs> what they can handle AI-wise and uh, what the game can handle. We're trying constantly to find new ways to make a level exciting. Um, and I don't think it can be pushed any more than what we're doing in Hitman 3. <laughs> One of the other things we're doing in Hitman 3 is we're enabling a progression carryover from Hitman 2, which means that weapons and unlocks and mastery, a lot of the progression comes in with you so that you start off knowing that the things that you've done in the previous game, they made a difference, they still matter. You come into Hitman 3 with a lot of tools uh, for you to use, um, and this is something the players have been asking for. You will see elements of that in Hitman 3. Things that fans want, things that fans have been talking about since Hitman 1, you will see in Hitman 3. I think what our players will like like the most is is uh, going into this game uh, uh, not knowing what to expect and then really seeing how how uh, the game takes them on a dark journey uh, that is both uh, intimate and emotional and uh, with some hope sprinkled in. I think the tone of Hitman 3 is a little bit more dark than Hitman 1 and Hitman 2 was in the trilogy. Uh, and I think it's a little bit more contemplative, it's more intimate. There's, there's, there are things going on that now that we have been with the characters for so long, that I think are going to be interesting to, uh, to the players to witness. Hitman 3 is uh, clearly more more dark and more brooding uh, than the other two uh, yeah. chapters, which in a way brings in the game as a whole closer to the tone of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I think uh, the fact that it's a sandbox allows you to do some pretty crazy things that would seem weird if we put them in the main story. So the task of the main story is definitely to, to keep everything on the straight and narrow, if you will, and make sure that, okay, so we're establishing this dark spy thriller, uh, so we need to make sure that that sort of comes through the whole experience. We are now independent, and Hitman 3 is a, is a game that we completely publish ourselves and uh, you know that's uh, pretty exciting to do that as a first. The self-publishing for us on Hitman 3 um, is the pinnacle um, of the relationship unhinged, unfiltered, um, unplugged with, with our beloved franchise and our community uh, and our beloved gamers on, on Hitman is to have that connection as close as we can. When all is said and done, my hope is that the fans will love it as much as we do. There's so many people worked on this franchise for so long time that this has to be right. 
So, as I see it and what I've seen so far, I don't think it's not only going to be the best game of the trilogy, I think it's going to be the best Hitman game.